Now, interestingly, you can also look at the expectation at just center of mass that we uh, studied in physics in 12th class, right? So, what do I mean by the center of mass is that, suppose that you have some weights which are scattered here and there. So, this is let's suppose weight of 1 kg, this is let's suppose weight, I mean 3 weights of, of 1 kg and which is which are which are basically 1, 2, 3. This is just another weight of 1 kg, this is just another weight of 1 kg. I mean th these are like let's suppose these are uh, weights of 1 kg and these are the 2 kgs, this is 1 kg, 1 kg like that. Now, if I just ask you that at which point you can balance all of the weights. So, what you will say? You will say that probably somewhere in the middle, right? I mean, is this possible that you can balance it here? Obviously, no, right? And similarly, if I ask you, is this possible you can balance it here? Similarly, no, right? So, you must be balancing somewhere in the between. And this is what center of mass says. And that's exactly his expectation. So, let me show you how. Suppose, suppose I say that probability of this one, probability of one, is suppose I say that one by 10, probability of 1 is let's suppose I say 1 by 10 probability of 3 let's suppose I say is 3 by 10 probability of 4 is let's suppose I say 1 by 10 probability of 5 let's suppose I say 1 by 10 probability of 8 let's suppose I say is 1 by 10 probability of 10 let's suppose I say is 2 by 10 probability of 12 let's suppose I say is again 1 by 10 suppose these are the probabilities that I have which is a PMF probability mass function now I would like to calculate the expectation of this random variable x. I mean, probability of x equal to 1 is this and something like that. Now, what you will do? You will just multiply these probabilities, which means, let me go to the next page. Let me show you how to find the expectation using this PMF. So, you will say that if you want to find out the PMF, then you can just multiply the respective probability. So, 1 into 1 by 10 plus 3 into 3 by 10 plus 4 into 1 by 10 plus 5 into 1 by 10 plus 8 into 1 by 10 plus 10 into 1 by uh, 2 by 10 plus 12 into 1 by 10 right so i think yeah, these are the probabilities that i have now if you just sum this up maybe you can take uh, i mean this will this will divide by 10 so you can take uh, 1 by 10 common so it is 1 plus 9 plus 4 plus 5 plus 8 plus 20 plus 12 right plus 12 divided by 10 and then if you sum this up, it will be uh, 10, 14, 19, 19 plus 8, uh, 20, uh, 27, right? Yeah, 27 and then plus 20, 27 plus 20, 47 and then 47 plus uh, 12 will be your 59. So, 59 divided by 10, which is 5.9, right? Let me quickly verify. This is 40, 45, 45 and then... Uh, 50, 45 and yeah, then 55 and 4, 4 uh, 59. So this is 5.9. So basically, expectation is coming out to be 5.9, which means that if I just say the expectation is basically here, and the probabilities mass function that I, I, I have actually written is basically in the proportion of the weight. So I'm saying this is one weight, so one by 10. These are the three weights, so three by 10. I mean, total there are 10 weights, right? One, two, three, uh, three and one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is just a PMF, which means there are total 10 weights. And uh, these 10 weights, I have, uh, I'm just taking it in the proportion of weights, which is written here. I mean, the probability, which is one by 10, three by 10, one by 10, one by 10, one by 10, two by 10, and one by 10. So if you, if you find out the expectation, it is coming out to be 5.9 which is which is nearly in between right in the in the proportion of weights so that's how also you can look at the expectation that's that is one way to look at the expectation i hope you understood this right now if i just ask you let's suppose if i just say that uh, just tell me whether it is true or false let's suppose if i say that x be a random variable which is taking the minimum value a and the maximum value b then then expectation of x is basically you can say minimum it, it will take a i mean it will also be in that range is this true or false see you can do this using the average concept also expectation is nothing but average right so if you're taking the average of some numbers which are between a to b which means like let's suppose you're taking the taking the average of numbers which is between one to five then the final average 
will be will cannot be lesser than one because see this is this is between one to uh, one to five you are taking the average right some numbers okay maybe maybe there are many ones maybe there are just uh, two two uh, two twos and one three or something like that right one three maybe there are many fours like that if you're taking the average then actually it can never be here neither it will be here it will be between one to five only so that's why it is true so basically like you can understand this with the average also expectation is just average right so if you're taking the average of some numbers it cannot be greater than maximum it cannot be lesser than minimum right so that's why this is true i hope you understood interestingly there is a gate question just based on this concept we will solve it little later okay so i hope you understood that expectation is just a just a center of mass which which means that if you uh, if you assume that uh, your numbers are between 1 to 12 your numbers are between 1 to 12 then your expectation will be between 1 to 12 only right it will depend then which, that which which one is higher probable let's suppose in the let's suppose you have you have numbers between 1 to 12 and one is very high probable 0.9 and let's suppose 12 is 0.01 probable and whatever is remaining the probability let's suppose let me give that to uh, 2 okay 2 is uh, how much probability is remaining this is 0.91 so 1 minus 0.91 right this is 9 0.09 right so let's suppose 2 is 0.0.09 0.09 probable okay which means the pmf which is given to me is something like this i can say i mean uh, let's suppose this is the question which is given to me where there are three values which are possible and and the probabilities here are 0.9 0.09 0.01 suppose these are the probabilities and if i just ask you if i just ask you what is the expectation then you will say it actually must be very close to one because one is very much heavy right here here you have very much uh, high high probability mass so that's why it, it must be very much uh, very much close to one so which means let's just see this this should be 1 into 0.9 plus 2 into 0.09 2 into 0.09 plus 12 into 0.01 so if you add this up it will be 0.9 0.9 uh, and then this will be 0.18 this will be uh 0.12 right which is 0 and then no 10 11 and 12 so this is 1.20 right expectation is 1.20 isn't it very very close to 1 only is it close to 12 tell me no right it is not close to 12 it is close to 1 only 1.2 is very close to 1 right and what is the reason reason of it because 1 is occurring more often i mean the probability of 1 is very very often right i hope you understood this concept okay uh so most probably i am assuming that you have understood this concept if there is any anything you can just let me know what i wanted to say that whatever is more probable basically i have that mass that probability probability mass more at that particular point and the expectation is tend to be closer to that particular point if 3 is very 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 uh, uh, i mean frequent uh, uh, probable then the expectation will shift towards 3 only okay that's what i want to say i hope you understood this particular view of the expectation there was nothing new but i just wanted to let you know that you can understand the expectation in a way of of center of mass so although this is a completely optional video i mean you don't need to understand that i i i just wanted to bring this in your notice okay okay thank you so much